What is a jewelry design center? JDC is a family-owned business with deep roots in Montana. Why Montana? Because this community made us. Made us family, made us artisans, made us believe in love, made us hometown heroes. Because this community made us shine. Why Montana? Because Montana is home. Yeah, it's awesome. I mean, it's a great experience. Another time to go get better, and we're just all having fun out here. It's a good environment, and everything's just, it's a good time. So, yeah. What's it like capping it off with the spring game, getting in front of fans, and then being able to make a big play? Yeah, I yeah, know it's awesome. I mean, those come and go. I got a little lucky. It is what it is. But, uh, yeah, it's awesome to be able to play in front of some people again and give them a little taste of what we're going to have this fall. So. Ah, it was awesome. It was good. It felt good getting back in that end zone. It's been a little while, so it was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I tried to get the straight shot down the sideline, but people were taking some good angles, so I had to cut back. I had to get way back in the bag of the old receiver days and have to cut back and make a move and got in. Yeah, I had to make it. I would have never lived it down. I would have never lived it down. What's something you obviously played a lot of special teams last year, but what's something that you learned from being able to kind of watch the guys ahead of you that prepares you for, you know, being on the ground? Um, yeah, they they just they just work hard. I mean, all the time. It's just what everybody's always locked in. When you make a mistake, you got to just go play your hardest and just keep working. Those guys that uh, they just taught me a lot about how you just go and play. I mean. You can't control everything that happens, and you just got to go put in work and do it the best you can, and the ne it's the next play mentality. Yeah. I mean, what's helped you really sort of develop that position and keep playing so hard? Um, yeah, I played a little bit in high school, but I think just working a lot of technique this spring and um, great coach, McLeod, Coach McCall's been teaching me up a lot of new stuff. So, yeah, it's been a good experience so far. Um, yeah, well, we got a standard to live up to now here. So it's every day we got to have a championship level effort and nothing less than that. So that the effort's definitely been and tempo has been elevated. So um, I, I think I just got I learned as my, for myself is I just I just got to go make plays. I can't worry about if I missed one play. I just got to go keep playing and just can't worry about what happened to play before. I've been practicing for over 12 years. I was born and raised in Missoula. This is where I want to practice. This is my community. And I want to be there to help the people I grew up with. I began my legal career in the United States Marine Corps. And I moved to Missoula, Montana and began practicing. And I just couldn't imagine a better place to live. What inspired me to become an attorney is I really have a passion for people, especially helping people. What we do here at Holloway and Hulling is we represent people that are in a very difficult time of their life, and we're here to make sure that their rights are protected and they get what they deserve. Okay, and how did it feel to kind of get out there in front of some fans and sling it around a little bit? Oh, it was fun, you know, uh, just working with the guys out there, having some fun, executing the offense, and just really growing as a team and seeing what we can do after these 14 uh, practices after spring ball. And I thought we did well. We executed plays and we just had some fun out there. How did you feel out there today and then just kind of all of spring and just what it's been like for you kind of, you know, developing and, and getting into that quarterback room? It's been good. I've, I've been developing a lot, you know, getting better every day, just trying to improve my game, trying to help out as any ways I can on the offense and stuff and just, hanging out with the boys, having fun, you know, getting coached by Coach Pease and taking it all in. No, not really. Just certain throws just might have to, yeah, yeah, have a different arm angle or something like that, yeah. You made a lot of arm angle throws. I mean, that's always been a strength of yours, but do you feel like it still is? Yeah, I, I think I try to use it as much as possible, you know. It's, if I got to get around someone, I just use a different arm angle and see if I can get it to the, to the receiver. Because sometimes you can't get it the perfect motion, so... Sometimes you got to get around people, and yeah. That first one you hit, you roll it out to your right. That's pretty nice. I can't remember who you threw it to, but 
be able to sort of sing your first one and get a catch, how much did that get you going? It gets my confidence, like, going right away. That, that, was, that one was the Aaron Fontes, the uh, first play I had. But, yeah, it got me going, and then we got a drive going, and we scored. Uh, Stevie had that run in, so, yeah, it was good. Where do you feel like you fit in to this quarterback balance? I mean, a lot of people are talking about, yeah, a lot of people are talking about fight, but you played really well today. Thank you. You know, I'm just trying to do what I can do and just see what I can – how I can help the offense and see what happens. So, yeah. Coach was talking about some of the improvements that the group as a whole was making. So, like, as, as a player, can you speak to that? What did you maybe see on the offensive side, some of the improvements and some of the things that the spring benefited from? Yeah, we definitely grew as an offense and as a unit. And, uh, you know, the O-line working on their game, receivers working on their game. We're working on our, on our game and the running backs, too. And when we put that together, I felt like we – I feel like we do good. And it's been good this spring, and we've been just – Doing what Coach B's asked, and it's been working. The, you guys obviously played deep in the season for the national championship. So, what was this spring session like compared to past ones? Were like coming into it, was it a feel different? That it was a little weird, kind of because you guys wouldn't played like you know a month prior. Like, what was it like coming this spring? Ball? It was good. I mean, definitely high expectations after that season. So, and I think we did pretty good uh, doing that and uh, uh, fulfilling those expectations. So, yeah. You have those high expectations rolling over. Is there like momentum as a program? Like, do you think that that's a thing? And do you feel like you guys have been able to carry that momentum from last year into this year? Definitely. Even in winter condo, just being hype, you know, knowing what we can do and just wanting to get it more and more and more and then bringing it into spring ball and just, yeah. What does that experience of, of last year do for guys, like younger guys like yourself, being able to kind of taste it before you're really kind of thrust into action and then, you know, wanting to experience that when you get older? Yeah, it was good. I mean, I was doing all the sig signaling and stuff like that, and it was definitely a growing moment for me because, you know, I'm working with the plays and stuff, and it's it's making me learn and see what the offense is, see why we're doing it, and, yeah, it, it helped me a lot. You guys played a bunch of different offensive linemen out there. What have you seen from that group throughout the spring? What kind of defines them and what they bring to the field? It's been good. You know, that we want to be mean up front, and that's what they are, and, uh, they've they've grown a lot since the first day of practice, and I, I like I like where they're going, and it's it's been good. When it comes to centers, who you primarily work with today? There's a lot of guys playing centers. Yeah, I mean, I know uh, Liam, Liam, Michael, Ray, Mike, Ray. Michael, and Bot. That's who I was working with today, and they did an excellent job. Yeah. Just going into the offseason, what sort of things do you guys hope to get right now during spring now into the next phase? You know, I'll just keep grinding, get in the weight room, bigger, faster, stronger, uh, getting with the guys, throwing, uh, just doing that stuff and doing a little bit of relaxing too, just hanging out and then going into summer and the PRPs, hit it, hit it strong. So, yeah. Sweet. Top Thank Pumps you. Pump It Up Rewards Plus program and never pay full price for fuel again. Save five cents on every gallon every day at any town pump across Montana. Plus, earn and redeem points on your favorite in-store items to get free stuff with our clubs. Stop in and pick up a rewards card. Download the Pump It Up Rewards Plus app today. Or visit townpump.com slash rewards to register and start saving. Legal tip of the day. If you have contact with law enforcement, everything you say can be used against you. Be very polite, respect the badge, and simply say, please let me call my attorney, Dwight Schulte. I mean, hold it, you got it. I got it. All right. Thank you, guys. It's your own peril. One night in the stadium, what your yeah. initial thoughts of the uh, scrimmage? Uh, scrimmage was fine. You know, we got uh, got to work some situations, and, and everybody got to play. It was good. Came out injury-free, probably number one, most important. So it was good. We actually played a lot of plays. Uh, I thought the guys had fun playing against each other one more time. And it was a good, it was fun to have all the people here. The exchange between the lines, what do you think of this, the offensive and the defensive lines? The exchange between the two lines, offensive and defensive um, I thought it was good. You know, it's been good all spring. 
I don't know that uh, today was our most intense day or anything like that, but uh, I thought it was good. I thought that I thought the guys played hard, and you know it's a typical spring practice. One side makes some plays, and then the other one does. How would you kind of? I mean, this kind of puts a bow on spring. How would you kind of uh, assess it as a whole? Well, I, I thought it was uh, just in terms of spring practices. I thought it was kind of superior to some I've been around. Um, that the work was great, but I think the most important thing was we had a lot of individual improvement. There are a lot of guys on our team that got better. Like a, like the vast majority of players on our team got better this spring, which is, it doesn't matter who that is. It's just the group individually is getting better, which makes your team better. I guess, I guess how would you kind of evaluate the quarterbacks today, Coach? Just, you know, you've got them all in there, and, you know, some of these guys can have a swing that can't do it. Oh, I don't know. I don't, you know, I don't like. I always tell you, I don't watch them much. I'm watching the front in the, you know, the adjustments and kind of administrating the scrimmage. Uh, they seem like they did all right. Would you say they were kind of one of these groups that also got better throughout the spring? How yeah, I thought I thought those guys played well. I thought we had good play out of the the quarterback room this spring. It was good. I think it's always fun for. Us and fans to see the guys like a TJ Roush who's kind of waited his time and then gets into an elevated role. What are you seeing from him and guys like him that have waited their time and are now, you know, in a different role? Well, TJ is one of those guys I'm talking about that's improved through the spring. Um, you know, I think a lot of guys, we've played guys at different positions. They've kind of showed themselves to be adaptable to that. You know, the more, the more different things you can do, more chance you have of getting on the field. And so it's always fun to see guys make plays. Yeah, where do you feel like, you know, depth wise you have moved a lot of guys around to switch back to see Barnum the linebacker, Troy the running back. Where do you feel like you feel pretty comfortable with all the moves and with, with the depth that you have? Well, I mean, there's another transfer portal window coming up next week. So I don't know. We'll see what we have. We'll see what everybody else has. We'll see. I, I mean, I don't really know how to answer that right now. You know, it's, Sort of like you guys talk about our schedule next year. It's like, well, how can you gauge who's got what? No, the head coaches don't know who they got on the team next August. How do you guys know? Sorry. <laughs> it's a relevant statement. Yeah. So how do you go? Do you, how do you go about that then? When you look at the, you just like look at the big board and we're like, okay, maybe here, here, and then you look in the board. Like, how? What's the process from from here till then? It's it's all reactionary. You can't plan anything. So, you know, every every January you start trying to get your team ready for August and try to put a team together, and that's what it is. That's every football team in the country. There is no planning. When you guys have a run that you had to go to the national championship game, just what was, uh, like, I guess coming into spring ball, was it, was it any different than years past because you guys played so deep in the season? Or just what, how would you evaluate kind of how it Well, well we, we got a lot more lifting done over the Christmas holiday, so we had them here. And we got, obviously had a bunch of practices. So we, we did it like a bowl practice. And, you know, our young guys got to scrimmage a bunch. So that put them ahead. So, you know, our, our down the line guys last fall got, a, got kind of got two spring practices to a degree. And so that obviously, you know, the philosophy would be if you practice something, you get better at it. Uh, and so I think maybe that's why I'm so optimistic about how guys that haven't played a lot of football for us have improved. Cut you off, right? Uh, Pat Payton and Everett Johnson, two guys you brought in in the trenches there. How have both of those guys been acclimating to a new program throughout the spring? Um, well, both those guys have acclimated well. Um, you know, I've said it a, a couple of times. All, all the uh, transfer guys we brought in have, have assimilated really well into the team. They're uh, eager to contribute, eager to fit in, and and uh, that's been that's been great. Really, really really great uh, by all of those guys. It like Stevie Rocker saw it pretty well today. I think he ran the ball. I thought he ran it well. I thought he ran hard. Um, he's kind of a, he's a smooth guy, so sometimes he doesn't look like he's really slamming it up in there. Um, I've seen him improve a lot through spring practice. Uh, broke a few tackles today, which I, I was coaching offense on those plays. You know, I, the tackling went very good on some of those plays, so that's spring ball for me. A little push pull, but Stevie's done a good job. 
several guys taking uh, giving snaps, I should say, at center. So what's the process like of replacing a you know, three-year starter at that spot? Well, you got to – first things first is getting snap. Um, you know, we try to do – we do quite a lot of different things in, in regard to, you know, under the center and in the gun and snap counts and all that. So there's a process there. Uh, you've got to have – well, as many as possible that can snap the ball and play center because, you know, you, you got to play with one. Somebody's got to snap the ball and start the play, and, and you don't want to be floundering if, if uh, you have to get into your depth at that position. So we're trying to develop a lot of guys there. I think the play at center has been pretty good through the spring, and obviously that's got to continue into the summer. As far as bringing in a new old line coach, what has he added to that room? Well, at any time that we have changes, we we lose continuity, which is hard to get in, in college football, and and so you you worry about you know continuity is a good thing, but then we get we get a little uh, fresh perspective um, in whatever world we're talking about, and in this case, we're talking about the offensive line. So, uh, different voice, different way of teaching it. Um, and, and Joe's done a really fine job this spring. I'm excited about the way that's gone. Good. Good. Thanks, Coach.